Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video on how to become a registered architect in the UK. In this video, we'll be discussing the qualifications you need to obtain to become a registered architect in the UK according to REBA and ARB. First off, let's start with the question, what is an architect? So, an architect is a professional who is trained and licensed to design and oversee the construction of a building. Architects use their knowledge of design, engineering, and construction to create aesthetically pleasing and functional infrastructure. In the UK, the term architect is protected by law and only individuals who are registered with the ARB are allowed to use it. It generally takes around 7 to 8 years and these qualifications are divided into three main categories. Education, practical experience, and professional examination. So, first off, let's talk about education. So, to become a registered architect in the UK, there are two education routes you can take. The traditional route or the apprentice route. The traditional route. So, the traditional route of becoming an architect involves completing a degree in architecture. The REBA requires you to complete an accredited program by them or the equivalent of international education. The degree should be at least three years long for a bachelor's degree and two years long for a master's degree. During your degree, you will learn about different aspects of architecture, including design, engineering, and construction. You will also be required to work on practical design projects and work in groups to come up with architectural solutions to real-world problems. The second education route is the apprentice route. So the apprentice route of becoming an architect would require you to work in an architecture firm and completing your architecture education. This route is relatively new and was introduced in 2018 as a way to increase access to the profession. To take the apprentice route, you will need to find a practice position in an architecture firm. You will then also need to complete a part-time degree program at a REBA accredited school. This degree will usually take longer than the traditional route as you will be working and studying at the same time, but some of the advantages to this is that you will be gaining hands-on experience all the while earning some wages. Moving on to the second category, and that is practical experience. So to become an architect, you will have to complete a minimum of two years of practical work experience under the supervision of a qualified architect. This practical experience can be gained through work placements or internships while you're completing your degree or after you've graduated. To meet the practical experience requirements from the ARB, you need to work for a firm or an organization that employs registered architects. During your practical work experience, you will be assigned a mentor who will guide you and supervise your work. Your mentor should be a registered architect at the ARB. Your mentor will help you develop skills in different areas of architecture and will provide you with feedback for your work. Your mentor will also help you with the professional examination, which is required to become a registered architect. Your mentor will also help you with your PDR, which is a record of your practical experience, which you need to submit as part of your registration application. A little information about PDRs. So it is a record of your practical experience and it should include the work you have done, the skills you've developed, and the responsibilities you have had when completing your practical experience at the firm. Your PDR should also include a statement from your mentor who would confirm that you have completed the practical experience and you have met necessary standards. You will then submit this PDR as part of your registration application to the ARB. So the ARB will review your application and the PDRs and decide whether to register you as an architect. So the third category, professional examination. So let's talk a little bit about what a part three is. So part three is a course that you complete typically after you've gained practical work experience as a part two architectural assistant. During your part three course, you will be required to demonstrate the ability to manage the design and construction process, communicate with clients and stakeholders, and manage the financial and legal aspects of the project. It is designed to test your ability to apply knowledge to real world design and construction projects. And now, moving on to preparing for the professional examination. So to prepare for the examination, you will need to study relevant course materials and undertake practice exams. You can find relative materials and past papers on the REBA and ARB website. You should also work closely with your mentor who will help you prepare for the examination and also assess your progress. They will also help you with your PDRs as previously mentioned, that you will submit as part of your application to become a registered architect. So, passing the professional examination. After you pass the examination, you will officially become an architect and you will be eligible to register 
on the ARB website and officially use the term architect. To apply for registration, you will need to fill in an online registration form and pay a registration fee. You will also need to provide evidence of your professional experience, qualifications, and your professional examination results. So in conclusion, becoming an architect in the UK is a really long journey. It takes up to seven or eight years or sometimes even more, and it's a combination of practical experience, education, and professional examination. So if you're interested in becoming an architect in the UK, I hope this video was helpful to you. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you're looking for more content like this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.